me do it on my end. I'm recording this as well, so if you don't want to be on screen or whatnot, you can turn off your uh, video. But uh, a lot of coaches that were busy from, uh, you know, uh, had certain things to do, uh, banquets, they asked me to record it and send it to them. So, um, um, yeah, so record. So, uh, nonetheless, welcome and introductions. Uh, a lot of you guys know me on the screen. You can see uh, our board of directors. Um, I'm the president. Uh, you heard my mom speaking on the uh, phone earlier, Jennifer Christian. Uh, she's the vice president. And I'll say the things that, um, uh, you know, myself and Pro have done in our, go back one, uh, mama. Yeah. Uh, the things myself and the pro team have done in the um, uh, industry uh, my mom has done that probably times two in the nonprofit space uh, in Atlanta. She's on multiple uh, boards. Um, and, you know, this is kind of uh, definitely her realm in terms of level of expertise in that nonprofit space. So we have her. A lot of y'all know my brother, who's the treasurer. He works at all the different events. Uh, we have uh, Dr. Katrina Jones as our secretary. i um, known her for pretty much all my life. Extremely intelligent woman. Uh, also, Charlotte Hayward. I've probably known her for the last 20, 25 years of my life. She serves on the board in terms of uh, strategy. Uh, she has uh, three boys that went through this recruiting process um, extensively, uh, played college, and uh, two of her boys are actually uh, in the NFL, um, one being a pro bowler, um, Cameron Hayward for the Pittsburgh Steelers. So great family. Um, that whole nine, but extremely passionate about our helps helping student athletes. And then uh, one of our board advisors is my uh, father. A lot of the ideas I come up with, I'm not going to sit here and act like I come up uh, with all of them by myself. Um, you know, it's definitely a collective effort. So that is the board. Uh, we could hit that next slide. Okay. Now next we slide. Gotta, I'm trying. Okay. There we go. All right. So uh, a lot of the people on the call have actually known uh, me since the program existed back in uh, 2013. So a lot of you guys know we've placed over 200 student athletes at all levels, uh, D1, D2, NCAA, uh, D3, NAI, JUCO, the whole nine. Uh, but Pro Elevation, uh, which is a nonprofit uh, division, it was actually uh, launched and established in 20, uh, 2023, so at the top of this year, uh, due to the discovery of um, so many under the radar, underrepresented student athletes uh, whose families couldn't afford the recruiting calls, showcases, and other uh, resources such as tutoring, mentor. You know, nowadays people are playing a um, uh, 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 top dollar for, you know, AAU, top dollar for training, top dollar for so many different things. Um, you know, uh, inflation, the whole nine, things are expensive now. Uh, so we came across quite a few kids and families that due to other priorities uh, and things that took precedent, like they just didn't have the money for these specific programs. Uh, so that's kind of how Pro Elevation was actually uh, created by coming, doing this for the last 10 years and seeing so many student athletes uh, that, you know, needed help, uh, but lacked the uh, financial resources uh, and the overall resources to get these student athletes where they need to go. So uh, today's uh, meeting agenda is to give you guys an overview of like the nonprofit so you kind of understand it. You know, you see pro movement out there, pro elevation. What's the difference between the two? Um, you know, kind of getting a deep understanding of the difference in between the two. And then, you know, I definitely wanted to reach out uh, to you guys as I know you guys were connected with a lot of student athletes. Um, you know, that would be a great fit for the program. So uh, you can see the mission mission and vision, uh, vision down there is to provide equitable solutions that maximize the trajectory of student athletes' success beyond college. So that's basically a fancy way to say and ensuring student athletes uh, um, uh, succeed prior to getting to college and then making sure they're successful uh, afterwards. Uh, pretty simple um, in terms of the long-term objective for uh, what we're trying to do here. Uh, we can go next slide. All right, so why should your student athletes join, join Pro Elevation? First thing I want to say is Pro Elevation is not a quote unquote uh, recruiting service. It is a um, nonprofit with a recruiting service as one of the cogs in the system, right? Um, 
Uh, Pro Elevation offers so many other things, as you can see on this uh, image right here, the benefits of family uh, families joining. So obviously we have the prospect placement program, which is the quote unquote uh, recruiting service. But then we also have the educational and leadership workshops that we'll touch on uh, at the end. Uh, we have, uh, you know, all student athletes that come to uh, come through the program to ensure they succeed, you know, when they get to college. Oh, go back uh, one slide. I'll let you know. In the, uh, Heck yeah, uh, I'm sorry. No, you're good. Um, all, all student athletes that come through the program have a uh, mentor. And what does that mean? Uh, everyone knows that first year of uh, going to school, whether you're a student athlete or not, is definitely the hardest. Uh, transitioning. Um, time management, that whole nine. So there are a list of individuals in the background that we've already contacted and are ready to work, ready to work with these student athletes to check in with them uh, on a frequent basis to make sure that they're staying on track while they're at school, uh, have somebody to talk to, and kind of that uh, big brother or big sister that uh, a lot of these student athletes uh, need that first year kind of when they're getting uh, comfortable. So we have uh, the mentors that will be able to help. We have different tutoring programs uh, in terms of uh, we've already connected with individuals that uh, need uh, are willing to give their SAT and ACT um, prep assistance to these student athletes uh, as well that come through the program. And then we have a uh, scholarship fund that once again, my, uh, uh, my mother will hit on at the end, but so long story short, it's so much more than a recruiting service. It's also the resources in terms of academia, in terms of uh, resources, mentors, tutors. It's more so the whole package and not just the athletic piece that comes with the quote unquote standard uh, recruiting service. Um, so um, those are just some things to think about when uh, you're considering this program or other programs, whatever the case uh, may be. Uh, you can hit the next slide. Okay. All right. So how do you join uh, Pro Eleva Elevation? The goal here was to literally make everything as simple uh, as possible. There's an online uh, application where, um, you know, you go on, it might take five minutes, you answer a few questions, um, and we'll show you uh, kind of what that looks like here in a few seconds. But Long story short, after you fill out that uh, uh, application with questions such as, you know, is it a single parent household? Um, you know, what's a household uh, income? Um, you know, um, how many dependents are in the household? Just different questions like that. You'll get a uh, email within seven days of completing that application on the amount of financial uh, assistance uh, awarded. So uh, it is real important because it's twofold. The individuals that will be going through these applications are our secretary, uh, Dr. Kajina Jones, as well as uh, my mother, uh, as well as the VPN. We're kind of prioritizing uh, two things. Uh, one is how soon that we are getting these uh, applications in. Because um, the idea here is to start as soon as possible um, you know, giving student athletes the most times to get uh, get exposure in terms of the athletic recruiting side, as well as uh, getting to them into the programs towards the end, back of the year. That's where we have things scheduled like the SAT and ACT um, uh, prep programs uh, as well. So a lot of times uh, parents and student athletes are more reactive. They want to go into their, you know, uh, senior season and see how things go and then you know, 99% of the time, you know, that time is going by and it's hard to recoup the opportunities that have passed you by during that time frame. So um, uh, we're prioritizing two things. Obviously, when it comes to this application, we're prioritizing how soon we're getting these applications in that will obviously affect the financial assistance award as well as, you know, um, specifically, um, you know, uh, the details of each individual application. Real quick, Mama, do you want to uh, do you have pulled up the uh, application so we can show them real quick? I thought we were going to do it at the end because I'm going to have to stop sharing it. Okay, we'll keep going. All right, deal. All right, let's go next slide. Show that. All right, so uh, what else uh, do I need to know? So we'll hit on these bullets uh, relatively quickly. The financial assistance will be awarded on a first come, first serve basis. And on our end, something I guess that you guys definitely need to know is 
our budget for the year 2024, so we can call it the class of 2024, our budget has already been set. So that's going to affect how much money that we're uh, going to be able to award for financial assistance um, at what points in the year. So that's the comment in terms of the first come, first serve basis. If you're trying to maximize uh, and get the best financial opportunity as well, giving yourself as much time in the program to actually reap the benefits and not come in playing catch up last minute. So um, financial assistance will be awarded on a first come first serve basis. So um, like I said, the budget has already been approved. So uh, speaking with the team, we have 40 spots available for the uh, year 24, the 2024 uh, program. And, um, you know, um, the program is open to class of 24 to 27. So all of high school uh, basketball and football for uh, this year. So the goal is to work uh, with student athletes over the course of their high year tenure compared to, like I said, being reactive, trying to uh, sign up for a program like this, um, you know, midway through your senior year and then expecting the best results. That's just not the best way. Um, yeah, uh, to do it. So uh, next thing is the National Prospect Placement Program uh, term is actually uh, one year. It's 365 days. Now, the good thing about this program is let's say the program is uh, it's fifteen hundred dollars uh, at the uh, price point for the program. But let's say after your paperwork, you may only have to you're awarded a thousand dollars in financial assistance. Your final bill is um, five hundred dollars. You know, and let's say that the student athlete's a sophomore or junior. Um, and this is one of the reasons why you definitely want to sign up as early as possible is because after that 365 days for that next year in terms of uh, renewing uh, for the program, uh, you get to renew at 50 percent off the initial contract. So that means if you came in at five hundred dollars for your sophomore year, your junior year will be two hundred and fifty dollars and you'll still get the, uh, the same benefits and access to all of the different programs that you did at the uh, initial contract that you um signed up for. Um, next thing is the pro mentoring and leadership and development training continues through the freshman year of undergrad. So that's what we talked about. I made the comment earlier, ensuring that they succeed once they get there, because I know y'all heard a lot of stories that I heard a lot of stories as well as kids get there, really don't have anybody checking in. They feel like they're grown, which they are. I give it to them. But um, you know, they get a, a little bit off track and don't have anyone to check in and kind of check them on some things to make sure they're doing what they need to do. And then uh, another big thing, and one of the reasons why it's definitely really good to sign up early in terms of in your high school career is all these uh, kids in the program get free entry to all the pro showcases. So um, that means that, you know, the showcase we're having uh, June 4th at Clayton State, all the pro kids get to go to that showcase for free. Uh, we have three per year, uh, spring, summer, and uh, fall. So those are part of the package as well with this uh, nonprofit. Um, so we'll, yeah, we can hit next slide. All right, so who is a good fit for uh, this program? Um, obviously, on our end, I said there's limited spots. There's 40 spots. So uh, this isn't one of, the, one of those things where we're, focusing on numbers, 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 trying to get as many uh, kids into the program as possible. We don't want as many kids in the program as possible, especially to start off. We only want the kids that are a thousand percent serious about getting to uh, the next level. Um, you know, if you're under the radar uh, prospect, um, this will be a good program uh, for you. Family in need of uh, financial assistance. And I'll hit on that really quick. Um, um, financial assistance isn't solely dictated by household uh, in income or anything like that. Uh, we actually just sent out an email to a, a family that uh, submitted their application last week. And, you know, middle class in terms of the uh, income and all that type of stuff, great. Uh, but we offered them financial assistance because they had four kids. Three of them were uh, in college and he's paying for, you know, uh, three college tuitions as well as, you know, all the normal, um, you know, uh, bills and stuff like that that adults pay for. So we understand that, you know, that's uh, uh, very um, uh, normal in terms of, you know, other responsibilities and then kids in college. We understand that that can be a huge bill. So. Um, definitely, if you're wondering, I don't know if I will get financial assistance, this and that uh, isn't solely dictated off of household uh, income. Um, 
And then lastly, we're looking for proactive student athletes and families uh, that, you know, want to be uh, get ahead of the competition. A lot of families wait and uh, wait until and try to play catch up. You know, um, I remember when I was graduating from um, uh, college, I was on the phone with, uh, you know, my mom. And this was in uh, January and I was graduating in May. And, um, you know, she's like, you're graduating. Um, have you started to uh, fill out any applications for jobs and stuff? I'm like, what do you mean? Why would I fill out applications? I got one more semester. You know, uh, uh, basketball season will be over in a month and a half. I want to hang out, have fun, and enjoy my last semester. And uh, the truth was, she told me just like this. She said, you know, if you want a job in uh, May when you graduate, you're going to have to start looking like now in January. And it's the same thing for recruiting in terms of the timeline. If you understand different calendars, if you want to play, uh, be signing in that class of 2024, you don't start the second semester or first semester of that, uh, you know, recruiting class. Right. Uh, you got to give your time, uh, self time to prep and get on these college coaches radar early uh, as soon as possible. So I will say if there's um, any rising seniors uh, that are serious that you guys know, uh, we have some parents on this call, some uh, high school AAU coaches. We strongly recommend that those seniors, if they're interested, uh, to secure their spot in that, but our program sooner uh, than later to maximize all the resources and opportunities. Um, just to put in perspective, if an individual senior signs up for our program, let's say uh, in June, versus October, November, when the season starts. That's five to six months difference in the time of prospect marketing, having us contact coaches for uh, them, the whole nine. And that six months can literally either save and provide more opportunities or have you six months you know, behind. So uh, something that's serious to you, you definitely got to prep for it and uh, move accordingly. So where are we at, Tom? All right, I'm almost done. Uh, next slide. Oh, go ahead, I'm trying. Uh -oh. <laughs> I have a touch screen there. Did there we I skip go. One? So I will leave it uh, here um, with uh, let my mom touch on these few uh, topics right here that I kind of uh, mentioned on. But this is uh, once again why it's not a quote unquote root, uh, recruiting service. It's a, a total nonprofit uh, dedicated to assisting the overall success of student athletes on and off the uh, court, football field, whatever the case may be. So, uh, Mama, you want to hit on these? So, yes. So I want to reiterate that this is, uh, you know, the main focus is not to recruit. Yes, we want to change lives. And yes, it requires recruiting to get the kids in the program. But um, I want to highlight the benefits um, of this program. So once schools start in the fall, we are going to be offering these educational and leadership series one every month. They will be virtual. So it doesn't matter where the student is going to school. Um, additionally, the, the mentors who are going to be and the panelists who are speaking at these educational and leadership series, they're gonna be professional. Some of them would be school counselors, school teachers. Some of them um, are mentors. They're gonna be people um, working at Microsoft who are able to mentor these kids. So everyone who's part of this program are professionals. You know, whether they are speaking on the panel, whether they're gonna be mentoring or providing some additional coaches to the kids. And so the way the, um, the program is going to work um, every month there be is going to be required um, you know for basically this is for kids while they're still in high school if they're in the program for two years every year they get exposure to you know this networking these educational and leadership series and again these same programs are going to be offered the coaching and the mentoring is going to be offered once that kid graduates from high school and his first year during college, he still would be able to participate and get this additional uh, mentoring and these educational and leadership courses. So every month I mentioned that we will have a different one or two speakers and the topics will range from, of course, ACT, SAT prep, um, how to maneuver um, the scholarship financial aid process coursework and team balance. So, you know, once they join a team, how do you balance class versus, um, you know, sports? 
and decision making and consequences. We have a lot of kids in our program who make bad decisions. They get kicked out of school or they get kicked off the team. So this kind of information is so valuable. Also effective communication. A lot of kids um, use their phones, they text and they don't know how to communicate when it's time to go out and actually um, meet someone and, and you know create a pitch you know for a job. Um, also financial literacy, um, networking and relationship building that's very critical um, to learn and also servant leadership, community service. We wanna have at least one community service each year where the kids are gonna be required to participate. Um, also creating your personal brand, career clarity and career exploration. So we wanna to talk to kids about, you know, depending on what their major is, you know, some options for them. So um, additionally, there's gonna be a code of conduct. Once they sign and become a member, there's a code of conduct that they need to adhere to. We're gonna make them sign this. And basically it says that they are going to uh, maintain um, appropriate behavior and treat everyone from their student peers to their teachers to their coaches with respect. And they're gonna um, obey the rules um, of the um, institution that they're part of and follow any um, re um, requirements set by pro. So this is again, you know, some kids, you know, need discipline, some don't. So these are all um, character um, or qualities that are necessary as a kid develop and matriculate um, into college and beyond college. And so um, again, in addition to those educational leadership um, courses, the coaching, the tutoring that I mentioned um, every year, the um, community service event, and um, we have a, um, a scholarship fund. So any student um, that um, goes to college and uh, we're gonna be offering um, so many different co um, college scholarships. So they have the opportunity to um, apply for those as well. So again, there are so many different things. I'm gonna cut right there so that we can leave some time for question and answers. So Jared, have you checked the chat? Are there any questions or please come off of mute and answer any questions? And no, I'll just go back. Any questions? Have you shared this? Um, have you shared this with them, Jared? I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing my screen and try to um, locate. Um, what was that? Um, the financial assistance application. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. Let yeah, me. Yeah, that's my thing. If no, um, if anyone has any questions, definitely go ahead and ask. Or you know, um, I know some people don't like to. Um, uh, ask questions, I guess, in front of people, whatever the case may be, uh, you can definitely uh, reach out to me. But, okay, everyone can see the screen. This is the application. So here is really simple. Oh, you can see it. Yeah, Let me see it. Scroll down a little bit, not too fast. Um, break down. Is this oh, no, better? Fine. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and scroll down a little bit. Yeah, so this uh, website has literally all the information uh, that you need to know in terms of how the application prospect, uh, process works. You click on that link, you can see uh, a link to the 200 plus uh, student athletes, uh, where they went to school, but this is the specific application, right? Student athlete name, graduation year, phone number, simple, um, household income, address, household dependents, um, yeah, literally. Uh, and then there's one section. Scroll down a little bit. One more. Let's see. Yeah. And then right here. So your personal story, please tell us any addi additional information we should take into consideration when evaluating your application. Like I said, we got that one with, uh, you know, medium household income, but just had four, uh, three kids in college and this was their last student athlete. So money was tight. Uh, another one was, um, you know, we accepted one. Her mother was a uh, disabled uh, veteran, right? Single household parent. Um, and once again, she was more median income. So don't so much focus on the, um, uh, oh, I wonder if I make too much money to be in this program or anything like that. Uh, we definitely understand individuals have bills and responsibilities. And the greater goal of all this is to uh, not try to 
uh, what's the word, penny pinch and uh, get as much for each application as possible. It's actually quite the opposite, right? Just to get as many of the, uh, these kids, um, you know, in the program. So don't so much overthink or get tripped up on uh, this application. Uh, we try to keep it as uh, simple as possible. So anyway, what oh, we got three minutes left. Um, do we have any other questions? Uh, you're on mute, Mama. I can't hear you. But do we have any other questions I can answer before we let everybody go? Oh, they're shy or no questions. Or that must have mean I must mean that we explained it pretty thoroughly. I don't know which one it is, but uh, uh so Jared, what are next steps? What are you expecting to happen after next steps? Meeting? So definitely, um, um, uh, I talk to a lot of people on this call frequently, uh, anyway. Uh, definitely uh, let's touch base, whether that's sending me a text, a, um, uh, a DM on Twitter, whatever the case may be. Hey, I'm thinking about this could be a good fit for my student athletes. Uh, how can we make uh, it work? And let's have that communication offline. But uh, if there's even a 50 percent chance that anyone is on, uh, on this call that's interested in these call uh, in this program, I would definitely say move with a sense of urgency in terms of contacting me and getting this information to uh, those student athletes that uh, it would be a good fit for, and then letting the process play out in terms of uh, reaping the benefits, getting this thing launched and started. So that would be my uh, next steps. Uh, reach out to uh, me. I'll follow up with a lot of you guys. And, um, you know, let's try to get this thing going and help as many kids as possible. Okay, so there is one question. Do we just go through the website or is there a link to register? Yep, so it's that financial um, assistance application and you can literally, um, whoever, I didn't see who asked that question, but just Adam, uh, message me and Adam. I'll send it to you. Yeah, I'll send it to you directly. So, um, yeah, we may get cut. So if we drop any other questions before, we got a minute and 30 seconds left. Anybody else have a question? I can't see the chat, Mama. You got the chat. I got the chat. Good. No, I see some great. Um, hey, this is Coach Mency. We are ready to help as many kids as my possible. My brother, my brother, my brother. Great program, bruh, by Coach Johnson. And yep. great explanation. And what else? There are some more here. This should take off. Today's high school students, athletes really need this. A great program for kids. Really love this. 100 uh yes okay hey uh i saw a question and we about get a recording the... of the video yeah i, I saw definitely that. have three to four girls coach milford franklin yeah, that's my man Morgan let Kevin. me know if um, you need anything okay real. um we're good mom we're good so um yeah I'll, I'll i'm recording this as we speak i don't know how long it'll take to download i've never recorded one but as soon as it does i'll upload it to youtube and then that could be uh, um, really simple as well. We have less than 30 seconds. So uh, sending this out to different high school coaches or parents, the whole nine, simplifying the process, making it easy as possible. I want to thank you guys for uh, definitely coming out. Um, you guys let me know if uh, you need anything. I'll definitely be in contact, but I appreciate y'all. Good night, everyone. Thank you so much.